So this question says, Marcus's favorite casserole recipe requires three eggs and makes six servings. So first of all, this looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. We know that because the question is longer than four lines, right? So typically if the question's more four or more lines long, we want to translate it. And all that means is that we want to stop at the end of each sentence, make sure we understand what we're reading before moving on and definitely translate anything into a mathematical equation or some little small statement, um, anything quantitative from the question we wanna make sure we're doing that with. So this first sentence tells us that three eggs leads to six servings, right? So this is the translation of sentence one. Next sentence says, Marcus will modify the recipe by using five eggs and increasing all other ingredients in the recipe proportionally. Okay, so now he's not going to use three eggs. He's going to use five eggs. What is the total number of servings the modified recipe will make? So here we go, question mark, servings. So these notes here pretty much constitute um, the question, right? So here what we can do is we can compare the number of eggs to the number of servings in a ratio and set up a proportion between these two relationships. This is what I mean by that. If I know that for every three eggs, I get six servings, then that should be equal to, right? It should be proportional to five eggs over, again, X servings. Whatever X is should be proportional to this three over six. Now, I could just say uh, three is half of six. So I would expect five to be half of X, therefore making X equals 10. That's one way to solve it. The more traditional way to solve this proportion is to cross multiply, in which case I'd have three times X. So three X is equal to six times five, which is 30. Divide both sides by three, I get X equals 10. So that's another way to solve it. Another way to solve it, and I'll use a different color here, is to look at the original information here and say, well, if three eggs equals six servings, what is one egg, right? I like to use this method to just bring it down to this most simplest unit that I have. If three eggs is six servings, then one egg must be two servings, right? Or two servings per egg is another way to think of that. Hopefully that makes sense, right? So three eggs leads to six servings, which means that every one egg leads to two servings. So if I understand that relationship, I can just apply it to my five eggs here and say, well, if one egg leads to two servings, then five eggs should lead to 10 servings, right? If the number of servings I have is double the number of eggs, then that should also apply down here where I have five. So that's multiple ways to get to our answer here, which is 10.